August is County Fair Month in the Valley. The Augusta County Fair wraps up tomorrow night. Then the Rockingham County Fair kicks off Monday. The following week is the Page County Fair, followed by the Shenandoah County Fair. But in this down economy, how does a county fair adjust? Well, joining us now to discuss next week's Rockingham County Fair is Kern Half, a board member and past president of the Rockingham County Fair. Kern, thanks for joining us. Well, it's nice to be here, Bob. Kern, in general, do you know some things are recession resistant, some things aren't. County fairs in general, how do they how do they fare when we're in a recession? In general, I think county fairs fare pretty well. They, uh, uh, I, I don't know if they're totally resistant. To the, to the economy, but uh, they're local, people go to the county fair, uh, generally they're not so expensive that you've got to drive two or three hundred miles and have a hotel room to stay there, so uh, it's somewhat resistance, and in general you get a lot of value for your dollar anytime you go to a county fair. Now, you're in charge of the sponsorships for the county fair. Tell us what that involves and tell us how that's doing this year versus last year. Well, I'm pleased to announce that uh, our sponsorship is up this year, and uh, it's a little bit surprising. When, you go, when I went into the year to start to get sponsorships back in February, uh, we really didn't know how, we would, how the business community and the media would react to uh, the economy as it stood. But as it turned out, uh, our sponsorship's up. I think that speaks well for, for the community. I think that speaks well for the fair that we present uh, to our customer. And uh, it, it's a total effort. I mean, uh, a total effort from volunteers to sponsors to the media getting the word out of what's going to happen at our fair. So, uh, but I've been, I've been real pleased, especially this year. I'm always pleased and always uh, like what I see when I go out and, and I get a good response from the business community. But uh, this year I was especially happy to see that they, they stuck with us uh, even some of them when it was maybe a little more difficult than it has been in other years. Two big grandstand acts, the Doobie Brothers, uh, an older r rock band, and uh, Jason Aldean. Um, give us an update on that because I understand one of those two is you may not want to wait if you're interested in getting tickets. Uh, we're pleasantly uh, a little bit surprised, but Jason Aldean, uh, uh, we're expecting Wednesday night to uh, that concert to sell out and maybe before Wednesday night. So if you're expecting to come Wednesday night and get a grandstand ticket at the gate, uh, it's possible that you could be disappointed because there's really not a lot of those tickets left. And uh, Wednesday night is kids' night. Uh, I, would, uh, I would caution people to wait till the last minute to even come to the fair because we expect Wednesday night to be one of the biggest uh, nights we've ever had at the Rockingham County Fair. So if you're planning to go to the fair uh, Wednesday night, get there early. Get is, there early, Is yes. there any adjustments this year with parking? Uh, which actually, I guess parking isn't the problem. It's the traffic to get people into the fair sometimes can back up all the way back to the 81 entrance. And we have put an asserted effort for all week long, but especially on Wednesday night, to make sure that we do our very best to get people in just as quick as quick as possible. A couple new acts that people will see this year that they didn't see last year, the free ones that, that come in every year? Well, um, uh, Shane's Spectacular Thrill Show is going to be back. He was there a few years ago. He's going to be back. Uh, of course, the, the Clydesdales are going to be there through uh, most of the week, and and that should uh, should bring a, uh, be something special. And, uh, and then... Uh, uh, you know, the grandstand acts are, are just the most of what we've had before. Mm -hmm. And there's some new acts, all new acts in the showcase tent. All right. Well, we'll look forward to it, and uh, hopefully it'll be a, a banner year for the Rockingham County Fair. Well, we hope so. All right. Kern Half, uh, board member and past president of the Rockingham County Fair, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And now let's send it back to Mel. Thanks, Bob.